Today we are reacting to the song Delusion All by a band called One OK Rock. I've never heard of this group, but I have been given some context on them by my patron Flower who requested this song. Thank you, Flower. They are a Japanese rock band. They debuted in 2007, but the song we're doing today is Delusion All. And this is a recent release which serves as the main theme song for the movie Kingdom, based on the manga of the same name. The song is in English. Before we get into this, please like and subscribe, and let's see what we have here. All right, I'm very impressed by them. I really love this sound. It's a particular sort of very heavy rock that I would almost associate with new metal, groups like Linkin Park, for example. Although it doesn't quite get to metal, it's still quite heavy and that's why I like this a lot because it has a lot of bite in the production and the instrumental, but it's balanced with these beautiful melodic vocals from, is it Taka? What an amazing vocalist. Lots of emotion coming from him. I love how the song is quite compact. It doesn't drag. It really gets to the point. Maybe a little bit to its detriment, slightly, if you ask me. And what I mean by that is the verses are so short and I love the vibe of the verses, but it jumps into the chorus so quickly. But let's just experience these verses again. So what is cool about that is the transition to, into the chorus is quite unexpected and it takes you a little bit by surprise. What they're going for there is making sure they still have your attention. But I think at the heart of this song, we could have done with another measure of that verse. Um, with the same vocal melody, different lyrics, we only got about four bars in the verse there. And I'm pretty sure it was similar with the second verse and also the bridge at the end. The bridge was insanely short. So again, only four bars for a bridge, which is really short. I'm wondering if the album version is a little longer and has longer verses. A really nice eight bar verse, I'd really like that because it's a great song. Why not, you know, settle into that vibe a little bit. Of course, I see the point of view of keeping it to the point and punchy. So this isn't necessarily a criticism of the song. I'm really just talking about what I would like because it's a great song and it's a shame to keep it so short. And there could be obviously commercial purposes behind that. This is the official music video. I don't know if a longer album version exists. I'm curious about that. Are all of their songs usually this short? But let's talk about the chorus. Just a really beautiful, pretty melody. Na, 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 na. So pretty, lovely lift from the lower notes and the verse. Just really simple composition, but so effective. And then we go higher in the middle of the chorus too in the vocal melody for just a little bit of a further lift, which is a really cool touch. I also really love just the instrumental parts, even if they are pretty short, such as the intro here with the piano. I do actually like how short the intro is going straight into the verse. I do understand that, especially in this song. I think that aspect of the compact songwriting approach works very well um, because there's a lot less going on in that instrumental than there is with his vocals in the verse. So it's good to just hit us with that wall of sound for a few seconds just to get our attention and then transition into this verse. As for the music video, to me, it fits the song really well. I am getting manga vibes from his outfit and his hair. I don't really know what Kingdom is about. I guess there's some themes of rebellion and stuff to it because, you know, we see the, the riot police and the protests and stuff. I can't say I'm privy to the underlying message of the video, obviously, without knowing more about Kingdom. So let me know about that. I think the look of the video is cool because the lighting is kind of muted, but the colors are very vivid. It's an interesting aesthetic mix in that way. And <laughs> his lip syncing for this video is next level. I mean, that is passion. Passionate lip syncing right there. Cool. I would definitely be curious to see a live clip from these guys too. So let me know if you have any suggestions for that. But overall, I'm very impressed by this. This is right up my alley. Melodic vocals, a lot of talent, good production. Punchy songwriting, a little bit of a darker sound. I'm all about it. 
Uh, only thing is, I would like for the song to have been longer. And that's always a good complaint to have. Let's check out the lyrics for this song. Maybe we can get more of a clue as to the theme. They'll conquer us if we divide. No one will listen to you. We gotta stand up and draw a line. It's time to fall back or shoot. Why does it feel like they don't feel anything? I pray there's a future behind those walls, but maybe I'm delusional. Let's make a deal, pretend this bastard democracy is just how we want it and we're not exhausted. Yeah, yeah, political stuff in there. I'm finding it hard to identify something specific about this because I don't know the story of Kingdom, but as I thought, there is some sort of theme of a revolution that is being desired, something that is not working and that needs to change. I'm wondering if the walls mentioned in this chorus are literal walls in the story or if, or if they're just kind of a metaphor. Post chorus, maybe we're delusional, we're all DFing delusional. When everything's supposed to happen for a reason and every talking head expects you to believe them, but we don't need them, we are the kingdom, we know the amount that we have shared was never even. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep, that's true. You know, we are the people, we have the power. It's always been within our hands. But, you know, due to the system, we're always sharing more than the even amount. The rich get richer. It's sad. It's true. What can we do? Bridge, I know in order to be free, you gotta let go. But know that once you do, that's when they take hold. Everything's fair in love and war. Very interesting. I'm curious what bastard democracy means. Those two words put together, that's eluding me a bit. Bastard democracy, like a democracy uh, forced to earn heritage. I mean, I like democracy. <laughs> if you ask me, democracy is a pretty cool thing as long as it's true democracy. Which is not what we have in the United States. But as for the idea of a popular vote, that's pretty good. So that's why I'm, I'm wondering what this bastard democracy is getting at. Seems to me like that's a complaint about the Electoral College, if I were to be super literal about it. But again, this is from a manga. So who knows? Who knows? Do let me know about that. But yeah, good lyrics that fit with a song that has an aggressive tinge, but also has a hint of positivity and hope in the chorus for that revolution to come to fruition. Great suggestion. Thank you again to my patron Flower who suggested this. If you have any other suggestions for songs by these guys, I am more than open to them. Feel free to check me out on Patreon for exclusive content and feel free to check out my own music, my band Valkara, the link is in the description. Otherwise, please like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks so much and take care.